today, we have so many Christian women who love God's Word, love how He has laid out gender roles that has been embraced for generations in the church, and yet are really wondering what is the argument that will silence this encroaching feminism. There is, uh, with Beth Moore and Amy Bird and all of this discussion and argument about does the Bible really require women to love their homes? Does it really mean that they should actually be in the home? Or, you know, you see those things. The home is all of the world for, for women, or whatever those arguments are. And you have all these women who, you know, would view themselves as complementarian, love God's word, and want to defend it from that kind of messiness, but are looking for the perfect argument. Like, what is, what is the argument that will persuade? Well, what if it's not actually an argument like an argument lined out on a chalkboard? What if it's the argument of Christian women who embrace it, and instead of just saying, I affirm that, they affirm it and they obey it. They go out to say, okay, well, let me turn my attention from having read the scripture to going and trying to pour my life into obeying the scripture. And I think what we've ended up with is this argument that's like two ways to disobey. We disobey it by denying that scripture says that, or we disobey it by affirming that scripture says that, and then assuming that affirming it is enough, that that's sufficient. That saying, oh yeah, I'm complementarian, is enough. But what if the most decisive argument that there will ever be against feminism is Christian women who embrace the truth and go out and obey? And this is an argument that will be won around thousands of tables in thousands of homes and not in one intellectual exchange sometime. These are arguments that should taste and smell and touch, uh, that should give people great joy and, and provide fellowship around tables. We have this weird assumption today in the world that seriously spiritual women are women who get together multiple times a week to do intense word studies, Bible studies, uh, that this idea that you should be taking extensive notes on God's word. Well, what if real obedient femininity looks like a lot of women who love the word so much that they also are delighting in obedience, taking notes in the margins of their cookbooks, looking for all the ways that their hands can bless those people around them. And I think that the reality is that this is the kind of argument that the feminists can never, ever win because they just can't stand the heat of the kitchen.